Hi and welcome to this video with me Wayne from SwimmingCyclingRunning.com So you've signed up to the Hatch End Triathlon and you're a novice or fairly new to triathlon. In this video we're going to begin helping you through the Hatch End experience to take some of the mystery of the event away and help you realise that triathlon is a friendly sport that anyone can do. One thing that's true for everyone who enters a triathlon is they look at the three sports and they think, oh, not very good at that. Everyone has one of the three sports that is worse than the others. And for some, that weak sport is a real barrier to entering any event. As a coach, I know that most newer triathletes have a real problem with swimming which is completely understandable, as of all the three sports, it's the only one where your breathing can be restricted when your head's underwater. See, and you also can't simply go out the back door and practice or train for that particular part of the event. Now, for that reason, we're also announcing two training days on Sunday, May the 7th and Saturday, May the 13th at the Hatch End Pool both in the afternoon, so you can practice in the very pool where you're doing the event. Now, I'll be there to help you, as well with will be some others. And we're there to get you used to the pool. We're going to look at your stroke, and we're going to help you make sure that you can complete the distance. Now, to book the training days, simply follow the link in the description below. It's so anyone can be a triathlete, and in this video, we'll allay your fears about the swim. But first, Let's get you familiar with your home from home, your base in any triathlon, and that's called the transition area. The transition area is your home for the whole triathlon. The only people allowed in transition are competitors and race officials, no mums, dads or helpers, unless of course you have a specific need for one. Your bike will be racked there in number order with a saddle hooked over the racking. And in all, you'll only have one meter of space. In that space, you'll probably want to lay down a towel to stand on and dry your feet, your shoes, your bike helmet. And then in addition, if you aren't wearing a tri-suit with a number belt, you'll need a t-shirt with your race number pinned on the front and the back. Pins will be supplied, plus a pair of shorts if you're not wearing triathlon shorts. Now, my advice is not to wear socks because putting socks on wet feet is incredibly difficult. You'll leave from Trump transition to go to the pool, so remember to take your goggles out of transition. And then you'll run directly back into transition once your swim is finished, so don't take your shoes with you. Now, there will be marshals and other helpers in transition, so if you get confused, just ask them and they will point you in the right direction. All right, so now let's take you through the swim, uh, and for that we'll meet Mavini, who's here. Um, who did the Hatch End Triathlon as her first ever triathlon last year. Um, Bavini, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, so apart from being busy, full-time employed and a mother like many people um, my age who get into sports, my background really as a child didn't really do much um, apart from team sports. But then as an adult, got into running, initially struggled just getting to 5K, but then eventually got into marathons. Um, and I did a couple of duathlons um, and really I always looked at people swimming, whether on holiday or in the Olympics and just thinking, wow, it would be great if I could do that, but I just can't face going that way. So so, so coming to the triathlon side of it, um, what, why don't you tell people what your biggest fear was about entering the Hatch End Triathlon? Well, biggest fear by no doubt it's the swimming. Um, I've never been able to swim. Um, I've never gone in the deep end, always scared of drowning. Um, and I just didn't think I'd be able to ever complete one length, let alone 17 of them. Mm -hmm. Multiple times in the past, I've tried swimming, I've had lessons, but it's just, I think those kind of instructions are more for holidays of how to just be able to relax in the mm -hmm. pool on a holiday. But I wanted to okay. do it as a sport, which is a very different feeling I had. Um, and I had a lot of anxiety around it and being bad. Can I just butt in there for a sec? Yeah. How did that make you feel about yourself, that, that you couldn't swim, that, that you felt that, that oh, I'm going to drown and things like that? How, what, the mentality um, of it? Very inadequate. Um, about two years ago, I went, uh, we were on a holiday um, and we went to a water park 
I did have to be rescued out there because I just panicked as soon as I got there. Right. So I kind of thought I need to do something about it. And I wanted to show my children that actually at whatever age you can try and combat your fears. I mm -hmm. just had to find, find a way of doing it. Okay, so, so let's get to race day. Um, could you take us through the build up to the swim so that people can have an idea of what happens at the Hatch End Triathlon? Sure. So I did um, get there early just to soak in the atmosphere a bit and just cycling to the place just calmed the nerves down, just getting me moving. They took us in and they divided us into our predicted time groups. And obviously I chose to go into the slowest time group because I didn't know what my times were going to be. But we had a chance to talk to all the people that were sharing our lane with before you went in. So mm -hmm. we had a bit of a chat of how good they are, how experienced they are. So they allowed me to fit myself in towards the end. There was someone who was going to do breaststroke. So they went behind me and actually that kind of helped um, just calm my nerves down to know that I wasn't going to really disturb anybody that was going for a decent time compared to me. Um, and it okay. was nice to actually know the people that I was swimming with. And how did the swim actually go for you? Huh. So um, I thought, OK, you know, you can do the distance, but let's see how you go. But actually, the adrenaline got to me. Um, the water was a lot warmer than I was used to. Um, so actually, after about three or four lengths, I could feel myself um, going a little bit out of breath, feeling that panicky feeling. But um, the instructions were that you can always stop on either side. Just make sure you're in a safe place in either corner so people can swim. Yeah. So because I had learnt that swim etiquette already, um, that's what I ended up doing at about fourth lane. I did it. The person in front of me also had to do it because she also, probably from the temperature of the water, just being a bit warmer than we were used to, kind of, we had to readjust our... I also, I, I don't think people realise how much adrenaline takes you over and you actually yeah. do start off a little bit faster than you, you wanted do. to start. You do. You try and keep up with everybody in front of you and in my head, I didn't want to disappoint the people in my lane or let anybody mm -hmm. else down. I think we both come away with the same thing. Above all, enjoy the day. Definitely. Excellent. Well, thanks, Bavini. You've been a wonderful help. You're doing the race this year as well, aren't you? I am. I'm, I'm supporting okay. the team in doing it, yep. So, there you go. You can complete the Hatch End Triathlon, and we are here to help. So please sign up for those two training sessions at the Hatch End Ball, again, using the links below in the description. We'll help you through and take some of the mystery out of the whole race. So we hopefully see you there at the training days, and I'll see you at the race as well. Keep well, enjoy your training. Bye-bye. Yeah.